Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to work out the area of a triangle. Now, first of all, the formula for area of a triangle is half multiplied by A multiplied by B multiplied by sine C. Okay, the thing you need to know is that lowercase letters are sides and uppercase letters are angles. Okay, A and B in this case are going to be sides and sine C is going to be the angle directly in between. Okay angle in between so for example if this is side a and this is side b the angle directly in between is going to be angle c okay now remember that sine c has to be the angle directly in between they might give you two angles to confuse you but always remember it's going to be the angle directly in between okay now let's jump straight into some examples first of all i'm going to write down the formula half times a times b times si times sine c equals area then I'm going to label my triangle. These are my sides, so A and B. My angle in between is going to be sine C. I'm going to substitute my values into this formula. So half multiplied by 13 multiplied by 12 multiplied by sine 120. Okay, now I've got my formula. I'm going to plug this straight into the calculator. Don't need to work it out. Okay, so there's your calculator. I'm going to do fraction, a half multiplied by 12 times 13 times sine 120 close your bracket click equals to make sure you click the sd button on top of the delete sign and you're going to get 65 67.5 centimeters to one decimal place okay so the area is going to be 67.5 centimeters squared to one decimal place okay let's try another question so our two sides we've got a and b now, we've got two angles here, but we're going to use the angle in between, okay? So, we're going to use this as our sine C. So, again, write out your formula. Always write out your formula in case you get the question wrong. You get a mark for knowing the formula. Half times A times B times sine C. Substitute your values into the formula. So, half times 14 times 10 times sine 100. Let's plug this into our calculator. So, again, fraction... I'm going to type in half times 14 times 10 times sine 100, close the bracket. And I'm going to get 68.9 to one decimal place, okay? So 68.9 centimeters squared to one decimal place, okay? Let's do some more examples. Calculate the area of this triangle, give your answer to three significant figures. Okay, so again, half times A times B times sine C. Label the triangle, that's your A, that's your B. This angle is going to be your C. Substitute them into this equation. So half times 5 times 8 times sine 41. Let's plug this into our calculator. Okay, so fraction, half times 5 times 8 times sine 41. And I get 13.1 to one decimal place, okay? Give your answer to three significant figures. To three significant figures, I'm going to get 13.1, okay? So 13.1 to 3 SF meters squared. Now, some more questions. However, this is what if the angle is missing, okay? So the area of the triangle is 7 centimeters squared. Work out the value of X. Give your answer to one decimal place. So I'm going to label this A, B, and sine C. I'll write out the formula, half multiplied by A multiplied by B multiplied by sine C is equal to the area of the triangle. Substitute your values into this formula. So half multiplied by 11 multiplied by 16 multiplied by sine X is equal to my area. In the question it says 70. Okay, now I'm going to work out this bit. Half times 11 times 16. If I wanted to work this out in my head, half of 16 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. So I'm left with 88 multiplied by sine x is equal to 70. Remember, I'm trying to work out the value of x. So to get rid of the 88, I'll divide it by 88 on both sides. And I'm left with sine x is equal to 70 divided by 88. Now, remember your main rule when it comes to triangles. If you're working out a missing angle, you're always going to do shift sine, shift cosine, or shift tan. Okay? So in this question, I'm going to do shift sine. 70 over 88 which will give you the value of your missing angle so in my calculator shift sine 
70 divided by 88, close the bracket, and I'm going to get 52.7 to one decimal place, okay? So the size of this angle is going to be 52.7 degrees to one decimal place. Another example, this question says the area of the triangle is 100 meters squared, work out the value of x, okay? So again, a, b, sine c. Write out your formula, half times a times b times sine c equals to area. Substitute values into this question. So half times 14 times 20 times sine x equals to, my area is 100 in this question. First, we're going to do half times 14 times 20. Half of 20 is 10. 10 times 14 is 140. You can use a calculator, that's completely fine. 140 multiplied by sine x is equal to 100, divided by 140 on both sides. So sine x equals to 100 divided by 140. Remember, missing angle, you're going to do shift sign in your calculator. So shift sign 100 divided by 140. So in our calculator, I'm going to do shift sign 100 divided by 140. Close the bracket, and I'm going to get 45.6 to three significant figures. Okay, so it says give your answer to 3SF. I'm going to get X is equal to 45.6 degrees. Okay, all right. Hope this helps. Practice questions. Don't sit down memorizing the formula word for word, okay? The more you practice questions, the easier it will be. Make sure you write down the formula every time you do a question as well, okay? Thank you.